Hey everybody, um, so, ta-da, it's turned up, my Latte Panda is here, enhanced version, hopefully, if I'm correct, with AC, Wi-Fi included because I was backing it, I'm a backer, I'm a backer, um, so I thought I'd do an unboxing, everybody else is doing it, so uh, why the hell not, so join Parker in Latte Panda Enhanced. So there was a standard version uh, with 2 gig of RAM, 32 gigabyte of uh, eMMC and pre-Windows 10 installed um, and then there was an enhanced version um, which basically is the 4 gigabyte and uh, 64 gigabytes of eMMC um, pre-installed 64 bit version of Windows 10. Um, I backed it in November I think which was about a quarter of the way through. Um, I think they just reached their second uh, stretch goal. Uh, first one being the case, second one being a seven inch capacitive, uh, sorry, capacitive touch panel, and the third being uh, a free upgrade to the AC draft Wi Fi, so 80211 AC. Um, I'm hoping that I've got all of them, but I don't think I have because this is a bit light to be honest. But hey, let's uh, crack it open um, and see what we've got. So, let's just do this right, not hurt myself. Live, that wouldn't be good. So, let's have a look inside. There's the Latte Panda. We're going to put this where you can see it. There you go. Look at that. That's better. Uh, and is, is this this is the case? This is the case. Plywood case. I guess it might, I might have to take a quick break and build this thing and then bring it back. Um, so uh, I like the packaging, I like the uh, design, looks nice. Um, it does seem to have obviously been sourced through DF uh, Robot. There's been a few complaints on the forums for people saying that the backers aren't receiving their kit before the people that can actually buy it online are, uh, which does kind of suck, but hey, there you go, what, what, what do you want to do? Um, cool, so I'm gonna, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take this stuff out of the boxes. Get rid of this. So let's have a look at this plywood case first of all. Like we've got some assembly instructions. Get this at the back. Not sure what they are. Look like probably hinges of some sort. So it looks like we've got two pieces. Wow, looks quite fiddly to be honest. Uh, we'll see. I'll read the instructions and. Uh, Holy moly, I don't think you can see that very well, but it looks rather complicated. It's probably a bit more complicated than actually setting up the Latte Panda itself. Um, so let's crack into the Latte Panda. Uh, it does say enhanced on the box, which is great. Good sign, they've sent me the right one. Oh, it does say it on top here as well. 4 gigabyte, 64 gig EMMC. And there she is. This case looks a lot easier to assemble. Uh, so let's get her out. Let's touch the uh, circuits. So that's the Wi Fi, I believe. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm going to be able to verify that they've actually enhanced this to uh, AC draft 
rather than uh, just leaving it. It should be well ventilated. <coughs> there has been a few comments about uh, about these things running hot, um, so I'm going to keep an eye on it. I asked the question to Latte Panda as to whether you can take this face place off so that you can actually get to the chip uh, and stick a mini heat seek on it, the, well, similar to what you can get for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, no answer. Uh, looking at it, yeah, it might be possible. It looks like there might be some clips on the sides that you might be able to take off. If you do, be seriously careful because no, they might not be clips at all. Um, they might be glued on. I don't know. We might have to do a bit of searching first. So, um, so I'm going to. Uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my bits together, and I'll be right back. I'm going to get this all connected up. Hey guys, welcome back. So uh, I've got all my stuff together. I think uh, we'll see. Uh, so I just thought I'd quickly go over uh, the actual uh, board itself, just to kind of. Um, give you an overview of what's on there uh, with my handy pointer in the shape of a big pen um, so at the top here you've got your Arduino uh, pin out um, you've got your your LAN on the side there and then you underneath, just underneath that you've got your uh, audio jack and then uh, micro SD card uh, micro USB power down the bottom here um, and then you've got your plug and play sensor connectors um, under the big chip uh, you've got a <coughs> uh, an Intel Cherry Trail uh, processor or an Atom processor um, which is rated at 1.44 gigahertz uh, not under uh, under pressure and it, it ramps up to 1.84 uh, and it's the Z8300 so it's got 500 megahertz clock um, <coughs> so this is the the 4 gig version and like I said before it's the 64 gig uh, eMMC memory um, so at the bottom here you got a display connector if you did get the 7 inch capacitive display that's where you connect it uh, you've got a touch connector and then on the side here you've got your HDMI USB 3 a single port um, and then two USB 2's um, and then at the top here you've got, I don't exactly know what these are because I'm not uh, an Arduino uh, robotics guy or anything but um, it's CPU GPIO so GP in out headers I guess um, I'm guessing that's if you want to hook it up to another board, uh, maybe daisy chain slightly or something along those lines. Um, and then you've got your uh, your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth 4.0 uh, under that chip there. And the little adapter for the aerial is literally just on the corner there. You barely see it. It's tiny. Uh, so I'm going to try and get that hooked up. So let's uh, see how long it takes me to do this. Um. Hey. Right, so a bit of a kerfuffle. Uh, just realised that neither of my monitors are HDMI. One's a display port and one's on VGA still. <laughs> so that wasn't good. Uh, so what I've done is I've hooked it up to a telly uh, and I've uh, added a Bluetooth uh, dongle for a keyboard. Um, managed to get the, uh, the Wi Fi on. Had to use a pen to kind of like just push it on basically it wasn't screw on or anything like that um, so I'm just going to fire it up and uh, you can see what happens when you first start it Looks like it needs a restart for some reason. Mouse is working. 
give it a restart. There you go. So uh, I want to get this set up, and then we'll uh, we'll take a look. Right. So uh, I've got it built, and uh, it was a bit of a bath getting it together, but uh, it was okay. Not too hard. Not too hard. Um, I was having some power issues with it initially. Uh, I think that was basically down to the uh, power supply being in correct voltage. Um, so I tried a couple and yeah, it was all the same. It kept, uh, it would fire up, but it would just switch off basically every now and then, which wasn't ideal when trying to set up windows. Um, so I've got it plugged into my telly at the moment. I've got a 16 gig USB, 32 gig uh, micro SD, and I've uh, banged in a uh, Bluetooth uh, unified dongle for the uh, mouse and keyboard. So I'm just going to fire it up and uh, show you performance. Prepare to be wowed. And there you go. So it's not bad for a little 1.8 CPU. I'll just show that it's on there. So that's going to log in. Right, so I have had this uh, up and running. Uh, basically, I've just uh, set it up for a performance uh, window setup, full power uh, plan, and uh, got rid of a few things like Edge Cortana, uh, a few startup programs just to kind of help it load up. It does have, um, it does kind of act funny because obviously it's um, it's going to be unpowered when you're kind of travelling. Uh, so it kind of Windows thinks that you've had it switched off for a while and. Uh, it might take a little bit longer to load up after that, but if you keep it plugged in, then it should start up fairly quickly. Um, I've uh, I've done some temps um, monitoring, just to have a quick look. Uh, I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but uh, idle temps are, uh, are kind of around the 60s. Uh, this is a little bit hot, just from me just switching it on just a moment ago. Um, but idle is about uh, 60 Celsius. Um, at the moment, obviously there's no fans in there or anything, um, and then under load I've actually had it up to roughly uh, 85 Celsius. Now I checked the Cherry Trail um, top temps and it recommends 90 Celsius, so it's pretty close to the mark. And that was after running uh, a full virus scan and kind of changing some indexing settings, so just putting it under some load, um, playing a movie, etc. It's got a bit of a delay, uh, but it's okay. Uh, I'll show you a 1080 movie, uh, just to show you. So you can see the uh, the temps, or I hope you can see the temps. They're just hitting the eighties right now. Um, now I'm hoping that this is going to kind of uh, go a bit lower after about um, probably a couple of weeks of running it, as the uh, the kind of adhesive that they've uh, that they've used to put the CPU on, etc., uh, kind of beds in a little bit. Um, you usually get that with uh, kind of performance desktop builds. A little, you, you should notice sort of five to ten Celsius drop over the lifetime. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, 
To me, I think it needs to be a bit cooler, so I'm going to do some messing around with the fans and see how much I can get it to drop. Uh, thanks very much. I hope you enjoy this. Like it if you like it.